Coffees for summer. Hear me out. I'm about coffee all year round, and we want to honor that right now. So here to share some refreshing recipes, Chef Randy Feltus, everyone. Okay. Talk to me about cold coffee. I'm going to talk to you both. That? I love all coffee. All the coffee. But like as the seasons change, I go from red wine to white wine. So when <laughs> yes. we come into summer and we're celebrating summer, I love an iced coffee. I have yes. to have the cold coffee. It's refreshing. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's lovely, right? It is. I was saying to the audience, there's a lot of things I can cut out of my diet, but coffee is not one of them. Very true. And I do want it all year round, but I don't know a lot of cold coffee recipes, so I'm very excited uh, for what we're going to be talking about right now. We're there is a difference between cold brew and regular poured over iced coffee. What yes. is that difference? Well, the regular pour over coffee is pretty explanatory. You take coffee, pour it over ice. It'll yep. get the job done. It yep. will. But Nespresso has come out with Virtuo Pop. Okay. And this is a cold brew. So it starts out hot yeah. and it gets all that essential goodness out of the bean. Yeah. And then it goes cold. Oh. So it's actually cold brewing at the same time and that leaves all the bitterness behind. Because that's the thing about poured over coffee. It is a little, a little bitter. bitter. It's a little yeah. bitter. Yes. So this is more hints of toffee, Ooh, caramel, okay. and cream. It's nice. Very nice. So, you want to get started? Let's get started. You're going to do a couple of recipes. Yes. With the cold coffee. What's your cold first coffee. one? I'm doing a cucumber lemon basil coffee. Oh, cold brew. that's very fresh. It sounds that nice. Little, yes. you know, aromatics, <laughs> right? But light aromatics. So we've got a ribbon yeah. of cucumber that makes the glass look fantastic. We've got three ice cubes. That's all we need because of the cold brew system. Okay. And then we've got some basil. We can go like, you know, three or four leaves and just chuck them in there. Beautiful fresh okay. herbs. Who needs a cocktail when you got that? Okay, maybe you need a cocktail nice. too, but wait till afternoon. So perhaps. then you just chuck in your capsule. Yeah. You press the one button on the machine. Okay. Right? And then out comes, I think we're almost there. Look at this. That I don't know beautiful. if you find yourself in the morning doing this. Tracy, I am totally this guy. I yes. stand there because I'm Jones over that coffee and I just kind of stand and go, yep. Yeah. We're almost there. Oh, I have We're my daughter telling there. me a story about what's happening at school that day, and I'm just like, coffee. coffee. <laughs> to but come out. look at the creme. Oh, it's beautiful. On this thing. Isn't, Isn't that, that nice? Glorious? One button, one touch. Oh, that is good just stuff. Give that a stir. That looks delicious. Okay, I know you have another drink for us as We've well. We've got a second one. Are you ready for this? What are you making? I'm making a juicy <laughs> watermelon fizz. <laughs> a juicy watermelon fizz, a which juicy... screams summer, Summertime. right? We think watermelon when we think summer. I do. You yeah, know, it's no, refreshing, totally. and that's exactly what this cocktail is going to be. This is okay. the best part. Are we ready for this? Yeah. This is the pop. You don't have to touch the capsules. It just finally disappears. We could look at that. It's like it's magic. It gets it's rid of magic. it all by itself. So you put the new one in, and new this new. one is a little bit thinner than the one you put in before, yes. this capsule. So it's going to be a shorter. So this machine does oh. it all. It does the short, it does the double, and then it does that long that everybody loves. Well, we love it. When you go to Europe and get the teeny, tiny, teeny little mm. coffee, you're like, hello, I'm North American. Can you make that times four? Exactly. So Jumbo. that's nice that they can do a long so now we need six cubes of ice. Okay. We want a little bit of sweet. Ooh. So we've got some sugar cane, 15 mLs, measured out exactly. Well, he's a pro. He right? knows what he's doing. Right? And then we have 150 milliliters of soda. Cutest little so can I've ever isn't seen. That, nice? and that is exactly adorable. What we Everything need. mini. So you so get a little then, sweet, you get a little bubble. Right? Right? And we're just gonna give that a little stir. Right? Nice. And we're also going to go in with, let's see, one, two, three, four, six mint leaves. Okay. <laughs> right? That's very Might specific. be seven, might be seven. And that we're just going to let that all infuse in there as we're waiting for our glorious espresso to come out. Look at this. I have never had uh, like summer coffee like this because, you know, I didn't think that these things were a possibility, but it's really lovely to have bubbles in coffee. You say you've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this for a while. I like tonic in my coffee as okay. well. That's a thing. That's a thing. Sparkle is good. That's kind of cool. But it's also if you're having a brunch, you can yeah. do these mocktails with coffee. Right. right. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Or maybe you could put something else in there. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, you but want. it's kind of fun, especially <laughs> when you get the shaker out. So right. what we need here is just one little ice cube just to chill this down. Right, so because the machine's goes. done all of the heavy lifting right. when it comes to the cold. And then we're going to give it a... A little shaky shaky. A little shake. So talk about a, yeah, talk about a mocktail. Are you ready for this? Yeah. 
What do we got going oh, on there? Oh, 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 oh. This is the best part. Oh, wow. Oh. You know what? Looks like summer in that Doesn't glass. That look nice. And then, you know, do a little... little oh, that's nice. This is a good there. brunch drink. This is great. You gotta shove that down in case it breaks. But there you go. That, Tracy. <laughs> Very and nice. give it one final stir. And then I think you need to taste it. So, the machine does hot or cold, am I right? Yes, it does. Okay, so how so, does it know, though? That like, is a are great you, question. <laughs> is there it's, a button on there that <laughs> says hot or cold? I think I, what I love the most about it, there's just one button. Okay. So the machine knows it knows exactly what it's doing. So the shorter capsule yeah. gives you a shorter coffee, and the longer capsule gives you a longer coffee. But you don't have to tell it what it is. It kind of knows. You just set it in. It reads it. You press one button, and then when you're done, yeah. pop. I like that. I know, it's very nice. It throws out its own trash. This is really good. Okay, let Watermelon me give it a try. That's delicious. Is it juicy? It's juicy. It's a juicy watermelon <laughs> fish. <laughs> it's juicy.